Hey, hey, today we're going to take a look at the chat functions in Skirmish VTT and why you would want to use them at all. And we're getting ready to do this right now. Welcome everyone to RPG Elite. If you're a greenie, which means that this is the first time that you're coming to the channel. If you're a returnee, which means that you keep returning, but you haven't subscribed, what's going on? I don't know, what am I doing wrong? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell right now. Let's just get it out of the way right now. And then for my fellow elites, which is my peeps who are in the house, they got the notification bell clicked. They've got the subscribe button click. They are part of the community. They're laying out the comments. Love you guys. Actually, I just love all you guys. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And this is where we put the RP back into RP. G, tools, tips, tutorials, talks, and any other T that you can think of that is related to making your RPG experience more immersive and enjoyable. I'm just going to kill that alliteration to death, y'all, on the forilla. I just love them T's. I'm gonna think of another one. Hey, if you got another one, go ahead and put it down in the comments. I'd like to use it the next time in the next video. Today we are focused on Skirmish VTT. I understand that Skirmish VTT is not a popular virtual tabletop. Foundry or Fantasy Grounds or that other virtual tabletop that I refuse to mention on this channel by name, those are the ones that everybody seems to be using. So why would I cover some off-brand virtual tabletop that probably no one is playing with. Let me give you a couple of answers to those questions. Number one, what you have in Skirmish Virtual Tabletop is a fully functional, absolutely free virtual tabletop. You can go right now over the Skirmish VTT, download it, and you're good to go. However, there's the caveat. They haven't been in development since about 2017. There has been no haps over there whatsoever. So there's no updates, there's no support, Nathan. So WYSIWYG y'all, what you see is what you get and that is it, you get what you pay for. But even in its current state, Skirmish VTT is a great free program. And you might wanna go and check it out. Maybe you don't like browser-based virtual tabletops like myself. I don't like browser-based virtual tabletops. I wanted something that I could download, which is why I went to Foundry. Or maybe you just don't want to plunk down the money or have the money to plunk down for Foundry, which is 50 bucks, and Fantasy Grounds, which is insanely expensive for no good reason. So maybe you just want to download something and just get going and not have to be concerned about shelling out the cash or anything like that, then Skirmish is still, still what I believe is the best free option for a virtual tabletop out there. But that's just me. And another reason why I am covering Skirmish VTT is because years ago, I made a commitment. I said, there's two things I wanted to do. I wanted to have more videos than the skirmish youtube channel and i do so that's been accomplished but another thing i said is that i wanted to make you a boss when it came to knowing how skirmish worked for your campaign if you were going to use it i haven't accomplished that yet and so i'm continuing to do so even though i know that this may not get a lot of views and even though i know there's not going to be a lot of people that are going to use skirmish but I don't know, I'm funny like that. I like to keep my word. So let's move right into it. Skirmish VTT chat functions, how they work, how to operate them, and why you'd want to use them to begin with. And we're going to really do this in. Okay, so here we are in Skirmish VTT, and I've got some tokens set up here just to give you an example of how we're gonna set this up. Now, you might be wondering, why are we going back to chat and speech bubbles and all the rest of that? 
why would you do that when most people today who are running any kind of vtt probably using some kind of audio chat program whether it be discord or gilded or TeamSpeak or anything like that so why are we going backwards servant well there are, there are two reasons why you may want to use chat in your session and just straight chat so one of the first reasons is that if you want to keep a record of either the dialogue because of something specific that the NPCs said and you want to cut and paste what they said instead of trying to remember exactly what was said or you want to make a note of something in particular and so you want to put that in the chat because you want to use that later for either the players or even just for the full session yourself as the GM. So that's one reason why you'd want to use chat. But another reason and my favorite reason of why you would want to use chat is, of course, role playing to encourage role playing. And I got a situation here set up and I'm going to show you how to activate this in skirmish VTT. The first thing you're going to have to do is go over here to game. You have to click on that after you highlight it and go to configure plugins. And it has a plugin at the very bottom here called Character Speak. It always says it's experimental. But we're going to click on that real quick. And then we're going to click on settings. And I want to show you this. I'm, we're not going to do anything to it right now, but I just want to show it to you. So right here you have limit mode and the squares or the tiles on the surface or the map that it's going to be measuring in terms of whether it's going to be just square whether it be circular or whether it be unlimited so i probably will change it because i'm going to change it unlimited so it can just be in any direction now the speaking range is when the characters are just speaking like i'm speaking to you right now and obviously the shouting range is when they're yelling across the room or the landscape or whatever and as you can see they have six and they have 12 so it'll be twice as loud it might even be a little bit more for shouting range to be quite honest so you just have to test that out if you want to be real fastidious about it but that's about the only thing i'm going to change so i'm going to click save here and then you have to click save again don't forget to click save again and now we've activated speech so let's highlight one of the player characters now the player characters here on this map are the ones who are green and then you have the npcs who are blue so tygon right here i'm going to go ahead and click on him and he has a dice bag and now he has the ability to speak now what's different here is i'm going to go down to this box down here now you have your normal chat here, like if I was to type something in here, like that's the way I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Old school folks know what I'm talking about there. And then you put it in there. That is you as a player speaking in the chat. But if you want your character to speak, you have to go up here to where your character is highlight your character as i've done and then go up here to speak click on the arrow on the side and then you say something now you can click back and forth between saying something or shouting something in this little chat bubble right here right now when it's kind of like grayed out like that it's just you just talking your character is just talking normal if you click on it and it has it highlights and it has an exclamation mark that means that they are shouting across the room so let's just go ahead and just say something here and we're going to let me see uh may i sp speak uh, yeah let's put speak in there with you sir now before I do that, there's a couple different ways. You can just push enter and that's the fastest way to do it. Or, you know, if you want to, you can just, you know, click on this little arrow on the side here. So I'm gonna push enter. And if you watch down there on Tygon, 
you can see the words that pop up and then they disappear. Not only does it does that over his token, but it also puts it in the chat. And you can see here that I'm speaking as Tygon. So it's Tygon that said that. Now I can reply with Byron. Sure. What is it you would like to talk about? Simple stuff here. You know, we ain't, we ain't going deep with it. Simple stuff. And then press enter. And the same thing that happened to him. You see it over there and it pops up on the bottom as the color of the token. Blue would be for NPCs. Green would be for PCs. But you have a situation here where I've separated the PCs and the NPCs from each other in different rooms. Tygon and Byron are in this room over here. And you have Emerson, Zalafahad, and Lillian. I just went backwards on that. But you have these three who are in the other room speaking. So you have a situation where the PCs are separated and two different conversations are going on. Now, it would be easier to navigate those two different conversations if you, as a GM, would say, OK, let's switch to chat mode and everybody, whatever you want to say, let's go ahead to chat mode. Now, you probably would know if they're going to say anything significant or if they're not going to say anything significant. You just want to switch to this mode to make it more convenient so you can manage two different conversations without giving everything away to those who are in a separate room. So if Byron would speak here or Tygun would speak, you have several tiles here. So if we count the tiles, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve even if he yelled it would not be heard and it would not be seen by emerson zalafahad or lillian but lillian's an npc but they would not see the chat either so it would not even though it would show up down here for me as the gm it would not show up for those characters here so Tygon talking to Byron and them having their conversation would not show up for Emerson and Zalafahad over here. And you can go back and forth with the conversation until the conversations are over and the PCs, all the PCs are together again. And at that point, you go back into audio mode and they can communicate with one another in character what the conversations were about. Now, if you wanted to keep track of the chat, there is no save function on this. But if you wanted to just press Control A and highlight all of your chat that's in the chat, you could do that. Press Control C and then save it to some kind of text program, which I have over here. And you just push control V and you can save everything as a separate chat file, maybe after the whole session is done, or you could do it real quick while the session is going on uh, if you get a small break. So those are two instances where you'd want to use chat in Skirmish VTT. Short, sweet, simple, you guys usually don't get videos as short from me, but that's the way I'm rolling. Just trying to get to the point, trying to be just a little bit of me. Okay, this is just so if you if you can hang in there for a second, so I can be me for a minute, that would be cool. But that's all we got now. There it is. Skirmish VTT chat functions. You got any questions or anything? What you want to do is hit me up in my email. That's the place where I absolutely answer all questions. I answer all of my emails if you come through on that. Also, if you are interested in Skirmish VTT, you do not have to leave this channel. There is a link in the description below. And in that link, if you click it, it's a whole playlist of Skirmish VTT videos. 
and you can get to learning about it if you're interested in using Skirmish for your virtual tabletop of choice. That's it for Servant of Shiloh. I gotta get on out of here. And yo, if this video added any kind of value to you or any kind of entertainment, go ahead and smash that like button. And for all of my peeps out there who are in the comments <laughs> saying the same thing, I love you guys. You guys made me laugh when I was looking at my comments and my notifications. Keep it up, y'all. Keep it up. I got to get out of here. Got so many more videos to do. I'm enjoying myself too much right now. So until the next time, folks, happy gaming.